Welcome back to Let's Play Persona 4! Last time we joined a sports club and met Daisuke and Co. and got the strength social link started. We and we did some stuff. stuff in town. Yeah, and we wandered around town and learned how the world works. How the day works. Now, tonight, we're going to do a little bit of study. Study, study, study. Before we call it a night. Oh, I'm sorry, I fell asleep during study. Yes, we did. Hooray. And we got smarter. <gasps> and we got a knowledge increase besides that. Heck yeah. Those tend to happen at random, but, you know, good for you give you extra points. Yeah, the hard thing with making a strict guide for this kind of game is the stat increases are kind of random. So... Yo! Oh, what happened to the bike? Tired of crashing it? Maybe. <laughs> oh, hey, we did do that once. Yeah, we did that the, uh... What? Yukiko? Yeah. Yeah. Yep, that's your leader sticking his hand in TVs when he doesn't know what'll happen if he does. <laughs> well, that would have been too easy now, wouldn't it? Adam? Yeah. How does that make sense? You're jumping into a TV. <laughs> Well, maybe for that brief moment, it actually links all the TVs to that one location. I guess. That'd be kind of neat. Well, considering she's not dead yet, I'm pretty sure she's good. Yeah, we've got a little bit of time. Alright, it's the afternoon. Now what do we have to do for the afternoon? Ah, uh, teacher. Oh my gosh. With a puppet. Oh my god. Oh my gosh. <laughs> Not a dull teacher, he's a depressing teacher. There's a college in Inaba? Inaba. This is already a pretty big this is a pretty big high school for such a small, small town. town. Huh? He got that right. No cheating. Two L's, two N's. Second option? Yep. I've probably misspelled that myself. I tend to rely on Firefox's. So you're Spell just checker. like you're just like Hana Chan, aren't you? <laughs> you're a person who relies on their PC's spell check. I'm actually pretty good at spelling and whatnot myself, but I'm um, pretty good at spelling. But there's some words that I can easily mess up that I'm appreciative that they have the spell check on there. Yeah. Yay! Yay! Oh boy, it's after school. No, after school. If you remember. A new book came out today. <gasps> it did, didn't it? Well, I gotta go there now, don't I? Gotta go get us get us a book. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Why am I walking? I can teleport. <laughs> so that would be Central Shopping District. Yep. Where's Juna's located at? Wow, it's a bit ways off. Hmm. It's right across the river. Yeah. And Juno's is actually a little more central, which probably makes it easier for people to get to it. Yep. Good placement. Let's go buy this book here. I'm gonna buy this book so hard! <laughs> Ever since that one thing. Wait a minute, how much do you know we have? <gasps> Are you friends with a chocobo lady? <laughs> And now we have a book. Now the rest of the thing, may want to go get some soda, I guess. That's what I'm getting. Oh. oh. Well, let's go. Um, let's go spend some time with Yosuke then. Broske. Broske. Yeah. 
So, back to school. Because it's Wednesday. And on a weekday, or on a school day, I should say, Yosuke is hanging around on the second floor. Since the stairs are right up here. I guess I'll use the stairs. I guess I'll use my legs instead of my special teleportation powers. And Yosuke should be standing around... Yep. There he is. Characters you can talk to and spend time with like that tend to have a little exclamation point over their head, so they're easy to But really to quick, find. I gotta go to the bathroom. Oh. <laughs> Yo! Maybe a little. <laughs> well, I know you're tired. I'm not tired, I have a headache. Oh, wait, wait. I was doing so good, too. I went so long without a headache. It's because I showed up. Let's spend time with right. Broske. Heck yeah! Infectious. <laughs> Game's got good music. I know. And there's Jack Frost on that vending machine there. The yeah, mascot you, for Atlas. Yeah, you can see him kind of sticking his head up a little bit there. You can get that as a persona, too. Yeah. Chainsaw teeth. Meat eating teeth. Yeah, pretty much. <laughs> She's a carnivore. <laughs> <laughs> Did you say steak? Who said steak? Hey, look, we're wow, giving the place... Wow, thanks for being bitches right there. Yeah, you know, <laughs> we're, like, giving the place business right now, so, uh... Yeah. It, the correct answer is the top one. It must be tough. Yep. It must be tough. I mean, how else would you put it? Hmm. You know, getting stares all the time. Say, hey, you're responsible for putting us out of business. And all that jazz. Ina -ba -ba -ba. I'm pretty sure I've missed a few, so. Eh. <laughs> Wait for it. <gasps> Wait for it. Wait for it. Rank up! Ah, our very first rank up with the social links. Make sure you put a warning there. If you like your ears, do not put <laughs> this up too loud. Uh, maybe I'll turn the volume down on that. But <laughs> Yay, we reached level two. And we can create more powerful magician or arcana personas. Now, in doing this, not persona only... Persona. And in uh, improving the social links, not only does it help your friendship with the character, you learn more about the character, you help them overcome their own little problems. Um, it also helps you out, and uh, to the point where it's uh, easier to make magician personas here. You also get interesting little abilities with the characters. I mean, it helps... Really, it raises, it improves your relationship with your uh, party members. And they're really worth it to go out and do more for you. Yeah. It's like they even get extra abilities and stuff in battle because of it. Okay, let's head home. Hey. Uh, that's what you get for eating. Now, in the evening, we got a new book. Okay. Welcome home. And you are still adorable. Let's see how you're doing. Aww. Aww. She didn't get to read JoJo's Bizarre Adventure Part 7 Steel Ball Run's final chapter. Because it's April in 2011. And it had ended in April 2011. <laughs> Coincidence? I fucking think not. So you go to the couch, read a book. Well, we only have one. The Man's Life series. Written and co-authored by Naka Talili and El Mandalogra. <laughs> hey! I think we shall and you read want it to read thoroughly. thoroughly. You decided to read a great man with your full intention. Every chapter begins. All men have the gr have the great spirit of masculinity within themselves. The spirit of true manhood transcends space and time, and all people of all cultures and genders feel its call. Manly. Yeah, pretty sure we helped write that book, apparently. <laughs> I guess. 
Now you can read thoroughly, which means it will take you longer to read it, but it gives you more opportunities to get stat increases. If you skim through it, you can finish the book faster, but you don't get as many stat increases. Ew, it's raining. Yo! Broske! Yay! I like sunny weather. Considering all the rain we've had lately. Yeah, and it's raining right now, though. When the rain clears, it's supposed to get foggy, but it looks like we're actually okay this time. So it has to rain for a few days before we have to really worry about the fog. Lunchtime! Lunchy lunch. Lunchy Mick Luncherson. I don't know. Oh crap, now I have to think about that goblin's name. Juggle McBoomBoom. Jugglix McBoomBoom. Somebody forgot to, to put bar fire up! <gasps> Maybe we should show up to soccer practice. Sounds like a plan. So we can kick around them balls. <laughs> You know how Dude, you gotta stop polishing those balls! <laughs> I can't, they're on fire! Ah! Okay, now after school, since we were told to go to the thing, we need to go spend some time in the club with the people. <laughs> with the people, and the things, and the balls. So oh, we're heading there off he is to, right yep, there. there he is. And we can go talk to him after school and jump right into it. And we can walk all of us. Shall we? Yeah. Yo. You mean sound man? Damn. Going to all soccer right. practice. He seems all so happy about it. Yeah. Hooray. Yay. Double hooray. Got it. Hey, hey, wait a minute. I don't have a broom to clean up. And there's so much dirt. I know. Now I think in that first option you could have said anything really. What? But that's not the man's way. Hey! Man. <sighs> not what goals are they talking about? The ones right there? I guess. How exactly you tear those down? Mm hmm. I mean, I could see you could take the netting down, but. You think so? Yeah, that'll show those bastards. <laughs> Wait, that seems kind of weird. Piss them off by helping doing something they didn't want to do just to throw All them right, off guard. Let's do it. Yeah, dis you uh, disarm anger with uh, kindness. Oh, okay. Also, you dishonor them. What's that? This guy's doing better than you? Well, I guess you're all off the team now, aren't you? It's kind of so, so into polishing those balls, man. <laughs> you gotta stop polishing those balls! <laughs> I can't, they're on fire. Uh... It always goes faster for three people. The correct answer here is the first one. Thanks for the help. <laughs> well, I'm pretty sure it'd be that. It's the yeah. other one's just basically like, Why'd you help me, bitch? Oh, he looks happy. So wait, I just realized this is the second friend we have that has this, uh, has S U K E as their part of their first name. Hmm. Daisuke, Yosuke. Probably some uh, naming convention or something. I don't. I know. think it has to do with boys. It's, mm. it's like that Maru. Wait for it. Wrong you up. But yeah, it, I think it's something to do with the like. It's a uh, common part of a boy's name. Hmm. 
So I mean, first he has Yosuke, then Daisuke, then Brosuke, then Sosuke, then Josuke, and wait, I think those last <laughs> three don't count. Yeah, I think we're delving into something else here. 